Well, welcome to this Friday morning and our uh, final devotional for this week. And um, again, blessing uh, it has come from many of the devotionals that we've had throughout this week, and I pray that you've enjoyed them. Um, the title of, of this devotion is called Produce Good Fruit, and it's based on the scripture that's found in Colossians chapter 1, uh, verse number 10, and it reads, and Then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord, and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while, you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. You know, we celebrated um, Father's Day this past week on Sunday, and I'm sure that you guys did um, some wonderful things for your fathers, whether it was gifts, um, whether it was food, whether it was just gathering as as, uh, as loved ones. It's a beautiful thing to see when we celebrate these different figures within our life. And as parents, I think we often look back to see, you know, um, what have we left behind? Um, I've had the privilege to see many people in my career um, look over the course of their lives and as they've worked, provided, uh, prepared, saved, um, they, they've done a lot of things. But I think the natural question that we ask ourselves, all of us, is have I done enough? And I think that that is, um, I feel it, it myself, I, alf, I often ask myself that, have I done enough? Have I prepared enough for retirement? Have I um, you know, substantiated something for an inheritance for my children so that they can uh, take that as a next level to, to boost their lives? And you know, um, we're in a constant state, I'll be honest with you, of producing within our lives. And we're looking back, um, we, we look at what we've sown, and then we also look at what we are reaping. And I, often I think that we would, wonder, um, did I sow well? Did I, did I sow well? That's why I'm reaping something that maybe I'm not too happy about. Um, maybe I'm reaping something that I, I anticipated something very different to look like. And, you know, I think that that's what this verse kind of brings, um, you know, to, to the surface. It says, but this, the encouragement that this verse says is that we can quickly turn things around within our lives. You see, it's not what you leave behind but will you stand for? And I think that is what I'm learning as I get older in life. Um, as much as I love uh, to be able to pass on to my children um, the gift of, of, of something valuable in the sense of money or home or heirlooms, um, I feel what's going to benefit their lives even greater is what I've taught them to stand for within their life. And our greatest gift is not found essentially in the things that we give to our loved ones, but the example that we have set for them within their lives. And, you know, you think about two tombstones that are written, um, they're etched uh, on there. It's not, oh, I love that they left me the, this amount of money, or not, it's not etched on there. They, were the, they, they, they gave me the best looking house. No, um, much of what's etched on there are the successful things of roles that they've carried to a husband, to a father, to a friend, uh, to a brother. You'll find things like a great mom, a, 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 a mom that was a cherished or a grandmother, or these are names and titles that are on there and they're etched because of what they have left behind and what they've done. And so our lives essentially are a reflection of the Lord. Um, the way we live does matter. Uh, I know that sometimes think that I get to live freely and yes, you do. But in, in looking back, we realize that, that we impact our families because of the way we live. And so I, I would ask you, it, if it not only pleases the Lord, but it develops our relationship even more while we're producing this good fruit, then why, why would we not do it? Why would we not live differently so that we can have this relationship with our, our Lord as well as um, strong examples to our children? Um, the fruit is the fruit that we're really looking for, that people would begin to speak with above us differently. And that is the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23 says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. I think if people know us for these types of things within our life, it speaks volumes of what we've allowed the Lord to do within our life. And as we started this week in the beginning, I, I ended saying to our fathers, let your life produce every kind of good fruit. 
for it is the greatest example that you can give your children. Bow your heads with me as we pray. We thank you, Lord, because the examples that we provide our families, um, Lord, they just, they set the tone for the future generations. And I pray not only through the message that we heard on Sunday, but the devotionals that we have heard that have challenged us to sharpen our lives and, you know, pick up our cross and carry it. Lord, that we would do it with, with uh, pride and dignity, knowing that we're serving you, Lord. And I pray that, um, I pray, Lord, that we as individuals, whether we're fathers or just leaders within our homes, Lord, that we would rise to the occasion to serve you with gladness and humility, Lord. I pray a blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. Hey, God bless you and thank you for joining us. Well, as we close the devotionals for this week, I just want to give you uh, the reminder that we are still continuing to work and um, there's projects that we continue to try and do around the church just to um, improve it and beautify it. And so if you can come out, we start on Saturday at 10 a.m. Uh, we also have a cleaning as well at the church. We can we have a vacuum and prepare and sanitize. So please, if you can uh, volunteer your time, I would really appreciate it. Uh, so take a little moment, look at your calendar, see if you can come out tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then we'll be coming back uh, this, this Sunday for, as we continue on our series, What's In It For Me, I believe that the Lord um, continues to reveal so much for each of our lives um, as He challenges us as well. There are challenges in when we ask what's in it for me. So I pray that you can make it. It's at 10 a.m., whether it's in person or on Facebook Live. Amen. God bless you.